Have you ever imagined what it would be like if one of the most well-known couples in the world adopted you? Who is Zahara and how is she now? This Ethiopian infant was adopted by Hollywood icon Angelina Jolie 17 years ago. Zahara thus transitioned from an orphanage in Africa to an opulent house in California. Don't however assume that everything has been flawless since then. What struggles did she face in life and how is she doing right now? Watch to find out more. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications on our next upload. Let's start. One of the world's poorest nations is Ethiopia. More than 4 million people are orphans today. Many of them are homeless and lack access to healthy food, clean water, and adequate education. Zahara, a 6-month-old girl, was one of these abandoned kids back then. She was malnourished and lived in an orphanage. It was likely that she would die if no one intervened. And should she live? She would have a tough fate. At best, she would have to harvest sugarcane, yet something happened that completely altered her life. In 2005, movie star Angelina Jolie made the decision to adopt this child. The actress was dating Brad Pitt at the time, and although she wasn't yet a mother, she already had a three-year-old adopted son named Maddox, who was born in Cambodia. The actress traveled to underdeveloped nations to aid children as part of her active charity endeavor. When she first saw the six-month-old child, she was enamored. Everyone believed the girl to be an orphan. Her mother reportedly passed away soon after giving birth. Some accounts claim that the woman passed away from bleeding, while others claim she had AIDS. Unknown was the girl's father. Only Almaz Belfne, Zahara's grandmother, resided in the scorching town of Hawassa with her three daughters. The family lived their entire lives in a dilapidated one-room cottage with no electricity or phone service. There was a burner in front of the house for cooking, a leaky roof, and deteriorating walls. No more amenities were available. For Zahara's first four months of life, her grandmother raised her. She barely had $9 each month, though she quickly realized she couldn't afford to feed her. The girl was given to an orphanage so that she would at least be nourished there. The grandmother was happy to learn that the girl will be adopted by a Hollywood star and decided not to attempt to have the child returned. The 45-year-old grandmother could not write or read, but all that she asked was to give her a snapshot of her rich grandchild one day. All I ask is that one day Miss Angelina send me a picture of my granddaughter so I can remember her and those gorgeous huge brown eyes which are identical to my daughter's eyes, she said. How awful that people are compelled to leave their own children to other hands in some African nations just because they are unable to support them. Life is unfair, but this young child was fortunate. She probably wouldn't have learned to read or write if she had remained in our own house. She would work for one dollar per day and live in a hut. Yet she had an amazing fate. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie left for the United States right after the adoption. Zahara has been living in genuine luxury ever since. Yet family was what truly made her happy in life, not money. The girl's parents were new. She legally adopted Brad Pitt as her father, giving her the double last name Jolie Pitt. Her new parents genuinely cared about her, but despite appearances, the girl's life was not entirely ideal. She was the center of the media's attention from the very beginning. The photographers were waiting for Jolie and her adopted daughter everywhere. The saddest part though is that the reporters made up a narrative that the girl's family was attempting to send her back to Ethiopia. They aggressively manipulated the family, taking advantage of their lack of resources. Reporters soon made another detail of Zahara's family's public life. It was discovered that her mother was still alive. In an interview with reporters, Mentwabe Dawit said she had gotten pregnant against her will. She could not defend herself when a man attacked her one day. Even the identity of her child's father was unknown to her. She did, however, choose to keep things a secret because it is frowned upon in Africa. This is thought to have happened to a shamed woman. No one will punish the criminal because everyone will blame her. In the family house, Mentwabe gave birth to a child after realizing she couldn't care for her. She handed her over to her grandma. I've never challenged Angelina Jolie's adoption for my child. I consider my daughter to be a very fortunate human being for having been adopted by a well-known woman. She remarked in 2007, I wish them both the prosperity they so richly deserve. Zahara was raised in a big, loving household. Jolie soon had three biological children and adopted a second child. Zahara has five siblings in all. Nevertheless, the girl's original mother reappeared in 2017 when she was 12 years old and abruptly requested to see her child. Let me simply talk to my daughter, she pleaded with the Daily Mail online, as far as we are aware. Zahara is unable to contact her original mother because she only gave birth to her rather than raising her child. 
She did, however, make multiple trips to Ethiopia, her country of origin. In 2019, Zahara had a unique encounter with Ethiopia's first female president. They talked about the nation's history and culture. Jolie is convinced that adopted kids need to be aware of their heritage. She did not, however, permit Zahara to meet her birth mother because she believed it would be detrimental to her. Zahara turned 17 today. She is the least interesting of the actress's offspring. The girl is possibly the most composed member of this family and has never been in the spotlight of any issue. Her mother can nonetheless be pleased with her. In addition to creating her own jewelry line and providing Meng Meng's voice in Kung Fu Panda 3, Zahara assisted her mother in her social activities. She is currently a student at Atlanta's esteemed Spelman College. Jolie is delighted for her. One of my kids, my daughter, is from Ethiopia and she has taught me so much. She is a member of my family but she is also an exceptional African lady and she has a strong sense of ownership over her continent and nation, she remarked. Of course, some people still see Jolie's adoption of a girl who was removed from her family rather than just being an orphan to be unacceptable. Just take a look at how drastically this African girl's life changed. Do you believe Zahara should get in touch with her biological mother? I thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share your thoughts with me in the comments.